What is up guys, it's Rabin here and today we are going to be taking a look at how to install Preloader, Bootme and Wii Mod for the Nintendo Wii. Part 3 of our series! Okay, so what you will need, SD card with you. Um, just and mash the remote out of the way. The link of this uh, will, will be, be in, in the description. Yep. So you just want to download it. I've already got it down. Oops. I've already got it downloaded. Um, yep. I've already got it downloaded. So I literally you just want to copy this into here. Uh, merge that if it tells you to merge it. It might be slightly different. Com uh, um depending on what you're using so we are using a windows 7 computer might be slightly on different. windows 10 is called this pc windows 8 if you're yeah. using those i think what you would do here is move and replace we think it can go on brakes okay refresh that come on connect there you are okay so after everything's done uh, go to boot me and boot me dot any because you have to edit it uh, depending on your region um, so just click edit. So if you live in the UK or Europe, you would use PAL, NTSC, America. And Japan. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Um, so what we want to do is change Excuse that me. to PAL or NTSC. PAL, what we've, PAL 50 or PAL, yeah, PAL 50. Save it. And then what you will do is you can eject that. Okay, so that's done. Right, back to my beans Wii. Time to go back into the homebrew channel. Good old homebrew channel. You're gonna hear, you're gonna be hearing that for a lot of times. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you see in my two other episodes, this was completely empty. Now look at it, it's full. Um, but we are here to install these. So, what was the first one again? I think it was Wii Mod. Yeah, I think it was that. Let's see if it is. Okay, so yeah, it is this. Um, so yeah, what you wanna do is go to Wad Manager. Look for your whoops. Oh, look for your wads. And literally, just press um, one. Literally, press one so it installs all of them at the same time, so you don't need to do it on one by one. So just pr click A and just wait for that to install. If you remember, guys, this is uh, very similar to a shot I took on Instagram of my Wii being homebrewed. Okay, so he literally just started uh, filming just in time. This is done, so just click any key to continue. Um, I think that's it, so basically go back. Oh, if he says he thinks and you do the same thing and it doesn't work, blame him because I'm just filming and giving commentary. Well, I do have a tutorial up here just uh, so that I don't get anything wrong. Um, I think you should be opening up Preloader next. As you can see, it says press. Um, a to continue or to install. So it's basically a bit like when you turn this on for the first time. Yeah, just click A. Oh, okay, no, you're meant to press plus. I don't see what's the point of that, but okay. Okay, so it's done. That was really, really quick. This is not needed for the Wii, but if you do install a wrong theme and um, you get the black screen of death, as I'm calling it. Or um, this has happened to Mobin where yeah. he couldn't do anything apart from going to the homebrew menu. His entire system menu just disappeared. Went, yeah, it went on holiday to South America. Thank God I made a backup. Yeah, this is really important because if you do screw something up, you can. It's the world's up. longest thing. So let's start the music. Do 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 oh, no. do. Okay, here we go. Press one to continue. And instead of going to install the homebrew channel, you want to go to boot me. Install boot me as iOS. Yes, continue. And it says no, yes, take continue. me back. Yeah, click on prepare an SD card. Go to yes. And this is so that the boot me can properly run. And if, you're, if you're wondering, because this is a version one Wii, it's GameCube compatible. Just a little thing to add. So is yes. this. And this is it um, for this. So if you did want to see this, um, as you can see, it's a launch boot me, but you can do it the hard method. This is just in case you can't access the Wii. Okay, so just uh, turn off the Wii. Okay. So I have to wait for this red light to come on, by the yeah, way. Yeah, this is what you want to do. So hold the power button and reset. Um, 
and uh, you should come up. Hey guys, so a couple weeks later as I'm filming, I forgot to um, make a backup of this, so basically I missed that step. So what you want to do first is also, just so you know, I'm not using my camera because I'll that's how it charges I'm filming on my phone so basically what we want to do is go to boot iOS I'll put a couple screenshots up and then what you want to do is uh, use the power button to go to the settings and then once you click that there will be a button that has an SD card and then like a green thing like an arrow on it and it will bring you to this and this is what makes a backup um, this is important because if you do screw up your Wii as I've been saying in the video then uh, what you can do is you can use this backup to you know fix it and stuff so this may take a while and since I had to reset my Wii just for this series I have to uh, you know make a backup of it and also a couple things changed so I've got my SkyQ Mini here new key no not a new keyboard because that's the same um, you know my Samsung TV is gone in my living room because uh, my big large you know LG TV was broken recently which is sad and yeah here's a Wii so this doesn't stay here all the time it goes in my cupboard where all of my other games are uh, um, consoles are sorry um, so yeah this will do it two times so first of all it's doing it like how it is now and then the second time it will verify it and then that's when it will dump the, mem the, the memory card it will dump the, uh, the backup onto your um, SD card and then what you could do then, uh, you may have, you may want to do this. Uh, put the SD card into your computer, and then get the, what do you call it, the backup, and move it onto your computer. You know, it's it's in a safe place. Um, so I'll be right back when this is completed. Back and as you can see, it's completed, but it's doing the verification, the second uh, round. And as you can see, these black dots here, these pixels. It's just bad blocks as you can see backup complete just verifying you can skip it but it is, it is basically recommended that you do it twice just in case after this I'll show you guys how to move on to your computer and stuff okay guys so finally it is done and it just says hit any button to exit so I'm just gonna press eject and then what you want to be doing is okay no I don't want to eject okay who cares um, yeah, what we want to do now is if I remember which one's which, uh, it's power. So yeah, this is how you do it. So just press power. Um, you can scroll down or right, and then just press reset after you've backed everything up. So just press reset to press OK, and then what you could do is if you want, you can boot into the Wii or the Homebrew Channel. So I'm just gonna boot into the Wii. Um, and so yeah, that's the backup done. And it is pretty important as I've told you guys before and here we are so next uh, what you would like to do is take out your SD card and put it into your computer so plug in the SD card into your computer and uh, let the SD card load up here here it is so we want to do is get the NAND dot bin and you want to cut that uh, you want to cut that and so you want to directly move it so, so you click cut and that is it so you just want to paste in here and this is your NAND uh, backup so don't lose this thing if your console doesn't get messed up I've said it before you can use this to restore your Wii so that is it so let's just get back to the video so basically that's how you uh, install preload or boot me everything you'll be able to figure out it's pretty easy thank you guys very much for watching um is there anything else you want to say Abid? i'll be here for the next part because i've genuinely run out of things oh i've oh, just yeah, realized this, uh, that's falling off look what fell off the, what what fell off the hat oh wow you put the hat on the wii also just so you know do not delete um this the black version it, it's not it's not a death virus it's just the backup of whole brew and it will look at this wait wait this is a backup just in case yep and we will and with that we will see you again in the next video yep um yeah take care guys i really don't know what to do in life anymore good night